Hi guys, today we have homemade AC with us, which is made by one of my friend, uh, my great friend Himanshu. So I am going to tell you about how it uh, has been made and how you can make it by yourself. It is quite easy to make this. Let me show you how it works. So this is our fan, which which works, and uh, this is our output. This uh, this will give you a chill here. I will show you that uh, air is coming from here. As you can see, this paper is uh, flying from here. As you can see, so let me tell you that how it works. So there we have a transformer, our batteries, then our switch. This is our uh, uh, fan. You can take this fan from your uh, old PC. Then we have a free space here. You can uh, put your uh, ice. ice water here. And these are the outputs where you will get your chill here or cold here. Anything you can say. So let's uh, try to know that what uh, what is the uh, working of this. How it can be made. So here is a quick uh, picture of this that uh, there is a setup. Let me tell you that how it works. So first of all we have fan here which will work on our battery. We need a switch to operate it. This is our switch. Uh, this is our battery which we can charge from uh, from our AC source to 20 volt. So uh, this is our 12 volt uh, battery. We need a uh, transformer that uh, convert to 20 to 12 volt so that we can charge it. Therefore we have a transformer here. We have also included a diode here so that this will only charge the battery. The ch battery will not discharge towards the transformer so this uh, diode will work as a gate for that that this uh, transformer will only be used to charge the battery not to discharge the battery now we have our ac source here as this transformer is 220 to 12 volt converter we can use our ac source first of all i wanna tell you guys transformer never works with dc therefore we have an ac here which can uh, convert our 220 uh, volt input source into output source of 12 volt I will uh, explain you further we have fan then we have our switch and then our battery the battery needs to be charged therefore we have a transformer which will convert our 220 volt to 12 volt since this battery uh, will not discharge when there is no charging we use the diode so that this battery will not work in reverse bias only work in forward bias so this is all about our structure on our paper we have introduced it on our uh, this mini ac so let me go through our ac so this is our transformer as i show you in the uh, structure it is uh, it has an input wires which uh, work for 220 volts i have connected our two pin with this so that you can uh, directly use it in your uh, switch socket then we have our uh, ac Oh, sorry, uh, batteries. You can connect the wires uh, with your batteries so that this will be charged. As you can see, we have connected our transformer with the battery. This is our transformer and battery. There is a diode. I can't show you diode that uh, as it is uh, in this uh, black wires, but uh, black tape. You can introduce your uh, diode between transformer and batteries. I hope you already understood that uh, which is the positive and the negative terminal of the batteries. So you will do it yourself. Uh, I would like to tell you that there are three winding transformer also in market. If you have three uh, three uh, wind uh, three wires uh, transformer uh, you have, so you just have to take care of that. When you use twelve O twelve transformer, so you only need to include first wire, second wire not the third wire if you include first and third wire this will become 24 volt so you have to take care about that you need to include first two wires to make 12 volt if you include last two wires this will become 24 volt okay guys so let's move on towards our uh, ac further so as i show you this is our battery will be charged by the transformer now this uh, battery now this battery will give output to the uh, fan but 
as we want it to switch on or switch off whenever we need it so we have introduced our switch between it this is our switch this will be connected between the fan and the battery on the one terminal on the one terminal you can take it on positive terminal or negative terminal as as you like it doesn't matter okay so we have introduced our battery so yeah uh, switch and then our fan i will show you from behind that how uh, the wiring side been done so this is our wiring we have uh, connected our switch here like this i hope you can understand and uh, now the one thing you have to take care about the fan should be in opposite direction so that this will grasp the air from the atmosphere so that this will grasp the air from the atmosphere and force it towards downward so this is the output side this throws the air from outward and uh, towards this uh, box inside and then there will be your uh, ice water here which will chill your uh, uh, hot air or cool your hot air and then uh, there will be a pressure then there will be a pressure organized which will force the cold air to go through these small holes outside and uh, finally you will get your cool air from here i will uh, get uh, started this i had not introduced my uh, cold water inside here but if you try to do this i can also charge it also I introduce it for charging. Now this is uh, taking charge, and it is now started. So you can use uh, battery, a uh, matlab charging, and also instantly using it. Electricity is all around. Now it is working with the electricity, or you can say with battery, anything else. It is charging and discharging at the same time. So this is all about our. homemade ac if you like if you like our video please give me a like if you want to ask something please comment and please subscribe to our video for uh, some new videos like this these amazing kind of videos and thank us a lot